Hello and welcome to North Wilkesboro. We are doing full length truck I racing here. Um, we are part of the Nick Neben League full length truck series following the real life schedule. Um, I have not missed a race of these though I've been gone for a while. Anticipated. Uh, thankfully, the time I took a break coincided with. Oops, let me see if I can. Yeah, he got it. Um, coincided with a three week break in the real truck schedule, so that worked out kind of well. Um, very fortunate for me that I didn't miss anything. Um, so, I didn't record a couple races, but I'm back here, and uh, I'm probably going to wish I didn't record this one. <laughs> Because I don't think I'm going to be very good. Um, this is very, very, very tough. North w Wilkesboro. We're out here like we're driving on oil slick. And uh, I'm not too great at short tracks to begin with. However, we got a wonderful couple of setups from Daniel. So we'll have that. And we are about to jump into qualifying here with the qualifying setup. Oh boy, I just, uh, I want to try to get a lap in first. I think everybody makes it, but I still want to make sure I actually get a lap in. So, um, just uh, focus on getting a solid lap in first. Green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first time lap. Looks like we got a cloud over the track right now. We got extra grip. One more lap. Yeah, that was easily my best lap ever. Huh. I drive harder. <laughs> that was a mistake. You saw me slide. So, I, I, I pushed a little harder in the corners there. I thought, man, I... I uh, had a good lap that first time around. Since we've got some cloud cover, maybe I can push it a little bit farther here and get a little bit more. But no, nah, it broke loose on me. Which it, uh, it'll do, like I said. It's like we're driving on oil slick out here. And uh, this is a very stable, very good qualifying setup, too. So. I have to keep that in mind. It's probably going to be a little bit less grip. Once we get on tra track, even. So. Whoa! Don't have to remain focused. This is a very unique place. It almost reminds me of like, in terms of short track racing, almost reminds me more of like a Richmond. And the way you drive it, it's such like an, uh, an awkward course here. I haven't done too many races at North Wilkesboro, but it's uh, it's certainly very unique. It feels like you're driving on a lumpy oval. Because it's it doesn't I know it probably is just a perfectly nice round oval, but just the uneven surface and uh, I don't know it feels like the walls are just uneven, bouncing in and out at you. It's looking like we got a pretty good qualifying time. Gavin right behind us in third. I'll take it, but also I hope I don't make a mistake in front of everybody. Some pit stalls may be shared. Ooh. That should be fine. We phase through each other anyway. I am very happy that I got bumped to third. Did not want to start on the outside front row. If I can manage to stay uh, on the inside in general, that'd be great. Though I think the outside works pretty darn well. Um, how am I going to do this? Uh, I'm going to be right back so I can put the race setup in. So pardon me while I do that. All right, I am back with the race setup in, and I actually went ahead and just did some uh, warm up, and did uh, you know a little bit of waiting so you didn't have to. <laughs> we uh, finished, uh, you know, finished up in third place with Gavin in fourth, and Dylan gonna start right behind us. So we're gonna have a great starting spot. That's a little unexpected. I credit Daniel for that one. <laughs> Um, great setup, and uh, race setup's feeling pretty good too. 
just to, I got to be really, really careful on that brake pedal because if you hit the hit the brakes too hard, it sends you right around. But if you don't hit it enough, you know, plow right up the track right into the person on your outside if there's someone there. So very tough, but let's uh, go ahead and hop right into it. I suppose You'll be lining up along 250 time. laps. Stages 70 and 140. So we're going to see if we can get any stage points. But it's going to be a game of survival, I think. I'm in a good spot right here. I'm very happy that I'm going to be in front of a lot of people. Which means I will hopefully not have to dodge too much if they uh, start piling up or something. I really hope it's a good race. I, uh, Gavin gave me a good luck. I said good luck as well. He mentioned uh, he just hopes it's a good race, and me too. Sometimes these short track races, no matter who uh, who you put in the race, it can just be so tough to keep it green. Good luck, everybody. Yep, good luck, guys. It's going to be tough enough for a ton of reasons. I mean, if we manage to start getting green flag pit stops, pit exit here is an absolute nightmare. The safety didn't exist when they built this track. <laughs> you just come out of the pits right in the middle of the apex of turn one and two. Pretty much, so. That's exciting. It's like a second gear start should be fine. Just gonna try not to overdrive it. Not gonna try to take too much, especially off the start. Like I said, even though we're starting P3, a great spot, I think I still have to keep the survival instinct in mind here. Just got to make it to the end of all 250. Something tells me not all, not all of us are going to. Get ready, going green. Okay, Got a little bit loose there. Did not expect so much tire spin from second gear. I was even considering first gear before I realized how quick of a shift it was. But it pulled to the left on me real bad. But we're okay. I hopefully I didn't mess up anyone uh, too bad behind me. The leader has just done a 18.6. Car in front lap time is at 18.6. I'm gonna try to uh, keep these tires happy as much as I can. Funny joke, I know. But I'm, I really am going to try. I always do try, believe it or not. You passed this lap for tops 18.6. And uh, that means both on entry and exit, because don't want to light up the rears either. So I'm going to be gradual on the throttle. We've actually got quite a gap on this already. It's kind of blowing my mind. Maybe I'm overdriving? I don't know, I don't feel like I am. I'm going 18 sevens, which... I don't think that's too crazy, is it? I mean, my experience level at this... Oops! My experience level at this track is quite low. To be very clear. So, maybe I don't know better, and uh, what I'm doing right now is shredding the tires. And that's okay. If that happens, it happens. I'll uh, try to make the passes easier if they start catching back up to me. Do anything too drastic. Just done make it to the end. That's that's the goal, no matter what. Kind of nice to have a little bit of a gap around me. And what's also nice, green flag, no one's wrecked. Love to see that. We're doing a great job. This is tough. This is a very tough place, so... Even if I've jinxed it, we're going to get a gallow here soon. Regardless, nice run to start the race. We've already got ourselves eight completed. 
Not too concerned about those guys pulling away ahead. I'm just going to continue doing what I feel uh, might be necessary to keep the tires on it. Noticed uh, Cabe not here, unfortunately. Um, or fortunately, if you planned on maybe winning the race. He didn't win it last time, to be fair. That was Ryan Carwile, but he uh, did come in second. And uh, always a threat to win if he shows up. So everybody's uh, chances increased just a tiny bit because of that. I'm sure he's got real life stuff going on, being that he does race cars in real life. We're hanging out in third. Kevin maybe gained a tenth or so on us recently. But mostly just kind of holding steady back there. And our first caution. A little bit early, I think. Someone in the back has wrecked. Oh, Joe involved in it in some way. Unfortunate. A little early. Pits. Just gonna hold on to track position for now. Well, I feel strong, but I don't even think I brought up the other. I think it was behind me. Six sets of tires, though. Lots to, lots we have here. I'm gonna actually put the brake bias back. Just a, uh, hmm. We'll do two percent. It's scary because if you get them on, get on them too hard, it will send you around. But I was feeling a little bit tight on entry, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Hopefully that doesn't bite me. We'll have a great uh, starting spot once again, just where we started here in third. I did try to get race labs up, but it wasn't working for me for some reason. I think I need to update it. I haven't updated it in forever, and I think it finally said, nope, not going to cooperate unless you update. So I'll have to do that, and I didn't want to mess with that right before the race started and make my computer explode or something. So unfortunately, no race labs. We've got uh, all the information, most of the information already, anyway. The relative and all that. We can make it all the way to stage two on one set, or uh, on uh, one tank of fuel. Obviously we will pit if we get a uh, caution later. Pits are open. But this was a little bit too early. I want to keep the track position, even with six sets of tires. Any advantage you gain from the tires you take is going to be completely lost by the fact you have to pass 5,000 people to get back to where you were. So hopefully we can at least get runs, you know, at minimum that length that we had there. That's kind of promising. A little worried we get uh, a messy bit of short track chaos jumping into this one that run wasn't so bad one left to green you'll be lining up on the we'll get it started again and maybe not spin the tires as much this time got to ease onto it a little bit more Even more so, since we did use the tires a little bit at this point. Maybe I overdid it. Hold 
Keep low. Rate of pushing up, it's kind of stopping me from driving in too hard. Clear high. Finally get clear. I overdrive and gotta calm it down a little bit. Not a huge fan of being side by side though, gonna avoid doing that. Pretty treacherous here, even single file, so. Kevin gets the spot from us, that's okay. Kinda of tough to get some speed while kinda of pinned down on that low line there. Really does seem like maybe, or at least the way I'm comfortable with, is a, kind of a lane up. Here. The yellow flag is out. Line and another up. yellow. Pit road is closed right now. Still too early, I think. Although uh, I, I do feel like I'm feeling the tire wear already. I need to figure out these starts. We'll get caught up just in case anyone does want to pit. Gotta find that sweet spot. Oh no, AJ, Nick's brother. I didn't even notice he was in here, but unfortunately he is not in here <laughs> in terms of uh, on the lead lap anymore. That's unfortunate. It's always cool to see when he's able to show up. Same with uh, Nick's dad, who uh, I did hear had a bit of a medical situation. Seems to be okay now, but he is taking a bit of a break from iRacing, so I wish him well. I did hear about that, and that's unfortunate. It's always fun to race with him as well. So I wish him the best. That lucky dog coming around the outside. Nick reminding everybody to uh, close it up under yellow. Someone say it over voice chat. I thought I uh, heard someone speak, but I didn't hear what they said. Nick usually asks people to relay what he says in text chat because not all people can see the text chat when he's in all teams like that. Well, someone already said it. So I'm busy yapping myself about some nonsense. Well, two to green. First stage ends at 70, so we still have quite a ways to go even for that. Not even halfway there to the first stage. Hopefully uh, the uh, cautions will stop and we'll just get a really good long run here. That's kind of the great thing about this track. What a lot of people are promoting about it is when you get those long runs, the tire fall off really starts to matter. Get the comers and goers, and things really uh, start to get interesting. Let's see if that's how it unfolds here today. Now, I don't know how outside restarts work. I should be able to get a little bit more aggressive on throttle. Let's see if I can figure it out this time. I haven't got around us last time starting P4. I wonder if I can return the favor, but not going to push it too hard. You actually want to restart on the outside. That's kind of crazy.
Here we got P3 again. And outside's really good on the repo. Your last lap time was at 19.0. Sure is. Kevin thinking, man, just lost that spot I just gained. <laughs> Can't wait to watch his video as always, of course. Twelve hits. Being away from my racing, I missed a whole lot of lots of videos I need to catch up on, which I will do eventually, but it might take a while. Usually, I watch just about every race. Good things to watch, even just to put in the background while I'm playing video games or even while I'm driving or something. Just put it uh, and listen to it. P3. Almost like a podcast or something. <laughs> Watch your oil temperature. It's pretty high. Oh, oil temperature's high, huh? That's a little unexpected. We'll go ahead and uh, keep an eye on that just in case. I don't think it should be an issue. We'll take a look at it. Just have it on screen so I don't have to be paranoid. It's not even in the orange right now, so it should be okay. That feels good. This place is just tough, so it's always tough to get around. It always feels like you're doing something wrong. You have to slow down quite a bit, but I think we're doing alright. We are in third after all, so that's always good. Ian's still holding the lead. Ryan right behind him, though. Trying to get in my rhythm. Big part of short track racing, just gotta get into that rhythm. Getting those laps clicked off though. Feels good. That's what you like to see. now. Moving a little hot. It's fast, but I did feel the rear end get a little bit light. That's a bit scary. I don't really necessarily want to be doing that too often. Tempting fate. It's like the leader got loose there and we've got to move on him. It's a result. It's going to bring him back to us. The next car's the leader. Still in no hurry though. But Ryan's going to get it done. I think maybe Ian backed off there just to be able to keep second place. Knowing that it's only lap 41, heading into 42. Big picture in mind, always. Your lap time was shows you. All right, Colton. Lap time's pretty Got a smart racer on your hands. Cruising. We're doing all right. Try not to slide around too much. Easy in, easy out. Try to keep, uh, you know, that session last lap that was consistently that. around same mark.
three, three and four right there. And unfortunately, we got ourselves another caution. We're pretty close to lap 70. Do I want to get tires? I'm only going to do so if they all pit in front of me, I think. Oh, we had a cell spin. That's totally understandable. This is tough. <laughs> Not gonna... Not gonna be upset with anybody for that, because it's probably gonna be me next lap. <laughs> So what are we doing? How are we feeling on tires? Gonna keep it out. Alright, anybody else coming in? We do have some takers back there. I like this track position though. I don't want to be back there. I'll be honest. <laughs> I do not want to be back there in the firing squad. So, uh, unless everybody else was going to be hitting there, I wasn't going to pit. That still seems okay. If anything, kind of coming to me a little bit. It will be interesting to see what our tire readings are when we first get a look at that. It will help me adjust how I'm driving. You know, if I've... Uh, got a weaker right front, I'll know that I can probably back it down a little bit on entry, maybe even be a little bit more aggressive on exits, try to even it out, or you know, the inverse. I think I wouldn't be more aggressive on entry just so I don't loop it, but uh, if I do have a right rear that's more worn, then I'll know. Got to be even more gentle on the exits, you know, just uh, adjusting how I drive based on that information. It, whenever that might be. I think one more longish run, maybe after stage one, we might come in, get some tires. Depends on when we, when we, or if we get another caution. That was a real good race in the back of that pack there. It was tight. This is excellent so far. I was uh, worried we'd get uh, one lap runs and then cautions every time. I wasn't trying to let you by, Joe, but I had no choice. Man, you were all over me. Fortunately, we'll be on the inside. It's going to be tough. Hold on to this spot as a result. Can't race really race like that in officials, that's for sure. Yeah, I wouldn't dare race this in official. <laughs> With uh, this great group, I did a here on Wednesday. You know, and even laps, and there were you know, kind of getting laps. a fair amount of cautions. Yeah, yeah that the uh, public's not going to be good at all. I've seen it; it's not good. <laughs> get ready, going green. Let's see if we can get a good jump. Hide car is off. Green, 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 green. Green. We're actually just going to take it easy and slot into fourth. I don't think there's much you can do about it. Starting on the inside. I think trying to fight Gavin is just going to get more people onto my outside, so I think that was just a smart way to go about it. A bit of looseness out of P2 there, maybe. He might have had to catch it a bit. 
unless my eyes were just deceiving me. Oh, I went out of the groove there really bad. Didn't turn. Got to back down a little bit more. More than that. That was a 19.3. You saved that. My bad, I tried to save it. That was a uh, 19.5. Oh. Line up, single file. Close, pit road is closed. I can't pit now. Too close to the stage. That's some good racing, Greg. Sir. I thought I saw I thought Ian I getting there. sideways, oh, getting loose. I couldn't deny that in that second one I saw. It was cool. Roads open. Yellow. It's open. So way too close to the stage end. Not gonna be pitting, doesn't look like anyone else is either. I will be on the outside this time. Got to back down entries a little bit more, I think. Just get a little bit tight, just because I think I'm entering a bit too hard. I'm afraid of self-spinning is what it is. Because if you drive in too hard, it will just go around on you. And that's what I don't want. I'm thinking about getting into me, Gavin. Yeah, no problem. That was kind of scary, though. <laughs> it was quite the save. Hey, <laughs> that was uh, pretty scary for me, too. We did get a 10 year new ride. We did get a 10 year new ride. Unfortunate situation. Almost uh, lost a spot from it. I was backing up, and Dylan almost uh, behind me tried to take advantage. I don't know if you could make a pass on the low side, though. I think if I were to try to pass someone, I would try to get on the outside. Full course yellow. Pits are open. But who knows? I haven't really uh, had a side-by-side -side battle too much other than on the restarts, and those are kind of their own thing. Because everyone's just getting up to speed. Certainly want to be on the outside on the restarts, it seems, though. I'm crazy. I mean, third gear. It seems like the seems like the play. It's so strange, though. Nah, you gotta do second gear. Just gotta be easy on the throttles, all. One lap to Can't smash it. Line up on the right, outside. Colton. Get ready. Race or resume at the end of this lap. I've not been good on these restarts, though, in terms of jump. Still able to get it done on the outside earlier, but still finding that sweet spot for the restarts. It'll be seven to go for the stage end. Go See if we can get uh, as many points as we can. Go for it a little bit, see if we can't get some stage points. Didn't want to be on the inside necessarily, but still there, hold your line. That lap time was 19 points. The next car's the leader. Still there, hold your line. Still 
there, hold your line. Clear outside if you want to. Alright, we got pass done. Good stuff. Okay, that was treacherous. This thing is on ice, but we got it done. Very happy about. Did heat up the tires a bit, making that work. Well, maybe uh, let's focus on hitting some consistent laps for a moment. Ugh, got tight on exit there. That was not good. Inside. Inside. Things just Stay got high. tight. Making the pass on that restart really made my tires unhappy. You gotta back it down now, I gotta recalibrate. Kinda really just rolled past me on the bottom though, in 3 4. Kinda drove it in hard trying to uh, keep the momentum, but he just <laughs> blew right by me. Did not handle that right. That's okay. Not very much experience here. I don't think it's gonna happen. And a point. We are gonna come in and get some fuel this time. That is not accurate. I always forget that uh, for whatever reason. Fuel calculator does not work. I'm so sorry okay, whoever I just ran into on the front stretch. I didn't see the rock. Open. I'm sorry I missed that, but if that was for me, it's all good. I understand what happened. The leader, Thompson, is pitting. Pit lane speed limit is 35 10. miles per hour. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Five, three, two, one. Right here. 87.92. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. That did go. Hey, that's a lot of tires, but. In single file. Ah, that was terrible in the right front. Jetstar, 77, sharp. Yellow, it's open. Even going hard for just a minute on that last restart, got my truck really tight. <laughs> I couldn't keep on to the second spot there. Yeah, I got an 83, 92. Uh, weird, I didn't have that long practice before, so I must just do the weather change. So I like that decision. Uh, we are still in eighth, or maybe even seventh. Is this going to update? Dang, I was kind of hoping eighth would be on the outside, but. Uh, There's two cars with 30 rock tires, and then two with uh, not 15. It's going to be important to be patient here. I took times earlier, so I'm running at like 98, 99 right now, so I just fueled up. So, back it down a little bit more. It's all open.
need to close better. Nick was mentioning that before too. I feel like I'm doing okay. I should be close enough to the guys ahead, I think. Sure, that's all good. My one catch now. Look at my phone for a second. About to go green. Stay focused. The pace car is in. Green flag. Green flag. Car outside. Outside, clear. Car outside. Uh, 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 we're getting checked up bad out here. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside. I think I gotta make my way to the outside. Not. Car outside. Still there. Keep low. Clear high. All right. Find our way around. Sorry, guys. I'm down on power. Just go on around. <gasps> Kevin! Go low. Caution. Yellow flag. They want you in single file. I'm sorry, guys. I tried to stay up for you. Well, I'm going to take away from that one. I freaking got loose because I wasn't the guy came down halfway down the straightaway. I came in pretty good. Pits are closed. Champion, 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 champion. Champion. I'm sorry, Colton. At first you didn't like come down and then you just bounced down the track and that's when I took you out. No, there's nothing. Nothing really can be done at that point. Everyone's just bouncing around. I'd like to fix some damage, but uh, we are not bunching it up, and I can't go lap down, so... are open. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit box team, 10. Gonna fix as much damage as we can. Head back out. Five. Three. Keep an eye on your Does anybody want to do the race this weekend? Right here. That's bad. Two minutes. Clear. Punch it. Didn't get much fixed, but up, something. Fire. I guess I should have gotten fuel. It didn't make sense to uncheck that, but more concerned about. I don't know what the RPM's doing. I can't figure out what level it's at because it was in the corner. Doing. Why is it not even a normal number? Okay then. Okay, I guess I'm down on power? I don't know what that means. Can we go? What's happening? Jesus. Half that 14, car. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in, green, green, green. green. Alright, we're not going. Car inside. 
Still inside. Twenty-first. Clear inside. Car inside. Clear inside. The car inside. Still there. Hold your line. We're on the high side, I guess. What are we doing? What's going on back here? Clear. Car outside. The car in front of us is. Oh my god. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Car outside. Two wide. Keep low. Outside is clear. G20. The lap time was car out. outside. One. Clear high. To tell where we are on speed quite yet. It's kind of okay. Oh, the smokes. Lots of sketchy things going on in front of us. Not where I want to be right now. Outside. Keep low. You've just done a nice Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Car outside. Stay low. Very tough to make a pass on the inside. Clear. That last lap was out. Checking up really bad for some reason. Car outside. Still there. P19. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Okay, Colton. The oil temperature's getting a bit high. Well, it got interesting. I mean, it was already interesting, but maybe more interestinger. <laughs> Up top. The top he said, okay. No way downtown. P18. Cautious. Yellow flag. They want you to single yes. fire. Pit road is closed. I think I gotta take some tape off this thing. We're under caution. Pit's closed. Pace cars out. Line up single file behind car number that sucks. zero two. Pit roads open. Pits are open. Might as well take tires, I guess. Fuel. But I can't blow my engine. The leader, Irvin, is pitting. Watch your speed. Pit box in. Ten. We'll need to stop again. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. Probably not much on these tires, but we have plenty. So, might as well get new ones while we're already going to be in here. Forty point five gallons. Let me hit that. Okay, go! Taking any chances. They want you in single file. Catch the stick. Car pass the boat. Lap down or anything. Speed seems okay. Your engine temperatures are okay. Despite the damage. Short tracks matters less. Where are we going to be? Not sure. 
Pasta, 14. Car. Still not enough fuel to make it to the end. Must be go caution the rest of the way or something. I hope it doesn't happen. 17th. It's open. One left to green. You'll be At least we did get some stage points. We got third place in the first stage, so even if things just continue to get worse from here, we'll have those in the bank. what makes them so important. About to go green. Stay focused. The pace car is off. Green flag, Be ready. Green flag. Green flag. Outside. Oh my goodness. It's drifting up quite a bit. Look that way. Still there. Sorry, Timothy. Sorry. Oh, oh my God! Right. What's that? The yellow flag is out. Boy. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed. Right I like being back here. I'm getting hit. I couldn't see you were stopping in front of the uh, for the truck in front of you there. Yeah, I didn't. I was pretty close to him. Sorry. Pace cars out. Line up single file behind car number 16. We're under caution. It's closed. We move forward a little bit again. Stage 2 ends at 140, so I want to try to stay out so we could finish up the stage. I think despite the damage, we can still scratch something out here. Potentially. Everyone's got some damage at this point, it looks like. If not everyone, most people. Got a little bit of a scratch somewhere. I feel bad I couldn't avoid Gavin. I mean... I, I, I was getting on the brakes. I, I just keep replaying it in my mind. Get on the brakes, but I can't just slam on it or it's just gonna spin me around. So I was trying to brake enough. Hopefully, I was hoping you would stop sliding up the track as much. Maybe uh, being on the. maybe locking it down like he did, I was hoping maybe it would stop him just before the wall and I could get around the outside, but it didn't work out that way. So we're P14. I don't know if outside's exactly where we want to be necessarily in this big pack. It feels like there's a lot of uh, different speeds back here, different tire strategies, different levels of damage. Things are really getting stopped up. It's hard to say exactly where you want to be. Just kind of get lucky uh, with what lane you're in, maybe. Hopefully we don't have any overheating issues. I took the 5% of tape off. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. Linda, 16, One left to green. Line up on the outside. We're going green next time by. So, it's that, uh... 43 to go? No, 33 to go. Before the end of the stage. About to go see if we can get it in the top 10 before then. Lots of checking up happening. 
Inside. V14. Still inside. Still there at the bottom. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Someone will clear. Fish tailing it down the back stretch. Oh my gosh, he's not having a good time. He's gonna cause a crack. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. V13, your last lap time was out. Oh, I'm stuck so bad. Still there at the bottom. Still there. Clear. Inside. This feels like super speedway racing right now. Stay high. Clear inside. Expected him to go low there, and then he's right in front of me. He's swerving back and forth between the lanes. Okay, no idea where he's trying to be. Still there at the bottom. Just can't get through. Keep high. Keep an eye on the oil temperature. It's creeping Stay high. Oh my god, why are we wrecking people? Caution, yellow bar. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed. Goodness gracious. We think King has gone. Sorry about that, Dave. You were blinking a little bit there, man. Oh, that was all me then. Sorry. I'm getting a couple more spots. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number 16. Pit road's open. Pits are open. Reco run on Dun Dun in front of us. That sounds pretty good. Some donuts. Got some takers. Or at least one that I see. Okay, Colton. Your engine temperatures are okay. All clear on engine temperatures. Engine temperatures were still going up, but they were doing that initially anyway. Or the crew chief was complaining about it anyway. What's Gavin doing? Is he still out here on the lead lap? Yeah, he is. Okay, I didn't know if he uh, doing all right with his damage. Good to see. Should be all right as long as my engine temperatures stay reasonable. Twelfth. Should be able to get some back. It would be nice to have race labs right now. Uh, see what time everyone in front of us pit last. But no matter what, get run over them anyway. Got to be careful no matter what stage their tires are at. So I guess that's irrelevant at the end of the day. Close to uh, stage points, though. We're getting closer. It's so much faster, but it's just so clogged. And I can't be running people over, causing more now. cautions. We're under caution. It's, closed. it's like uh, super speedway racing, it feels like. So uh, trapped. On the outside. One to go. Next car right, by. You're on the outside. We can't get into this lap. It's right, P12. Relative says 11 because I always crept in front of Chad there at the last second. But we are P12. Starting on the outside. About to go green, stay focused. Hopefully everyone gets a good job. Pace car is off, we'll be ready. Green, let's go. Green flag, green flag. Car inside, clear inside, Feeling. inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Still 
Something going on up there, it scared me. Clear inside, inside. Still there, inside. Clear inside. The next car is fine. You're in the top ten. Position. Inside. Stay high. Oh my gosh, there's so much swerving. It's terrifying me, man. It's just completely bottled in right now. I can't get around. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. P9. Keep high. Clear. Inside. Clear. Inside. Just trying to find a way through. It's not working. Come on, guys, please. No, oh, they're racing. Yield to me. Right, darn, it's frustrating. From my perspective. <laughs> Finally. Let's start here. Keep low. P9. Clear outside. Car outside. Clear. Whew. P9, we are in stage point territory. That lap was at 19.2. Finally, things are starting to get spread out. Okay, Colton, keep an eye on the oil temperature. It's creeping up. Oh no, the oil temp. It's high, it's really high. We're halfway in the road. It's bad. Just keep hitting your mark. D9. Car inside. Clear inside. Inside. Clear inside. Alright. Oil temp at 283. It just stays there, we're okay. Didn't get any higher. Seems to be peaking maybe. I think we might be okay. Letting us by. Appreciated it from him. He doesn't have to do that, of course, though. Sorry about that, Colton. No, you're good. Thank you for letting me by. You didn't have to do that. Uh, I, I didn't self, almost self-spin on purpose, trust me. You've just done a 19 point oh, I didn't realize that's what happened. <laughs> Yeah, I got wicked loose. So he got loose. I didn't see that's what happened. So our temperature's high, but I think we're actually good. That 5% of tape might have been exactly enough to save me. We'll see if we can get anything else, although we uh, we have some ground to make up. You've just done a 19.3. The gap in front is now 1.0 seconds. Seventh position. Trying to make some gains here. I don't know if I have anything for up ahead though. 
might have reached a point where our damage is holding us back. Or just my own uh, driving ability. You hold me back. It's some bumps there that really set me off course. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. The gap in front is now 0.8. I'm trying. I want to get as much as I can get. Feeling better about the temperatures now. Closing in. The Air Jones apparently. Oh no, no. They want you in single file. Dang it. Could have that in the stage too. Yeah, I believe it would. His car is out. Line up single file behind car number 140. We're under caution. Pits are closed. 10 4 yeah, 140. Pit road is now open. Yeah, he is confirmed it. It's over at the line there. You can pit though if you need to as at the line is whenever uh, stage points were counted. After the caution. The leader. Thomas yeah, he just announced it so we can pit now, right? Look out for the pit speed limit. Yes, you can. Pit box team, in. Thank you. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Yeah, man, I got really pit loose five, in front five, of you five, and like two, I didn't want to like steady wreck you, so two, I just kinda of let up and let one. Right here. Yeah, you're perfectly good. I just saw you go low. I didn't see exactly what happens. Too heavy on the gas and uh, just trying to hold that spot like an idiot. Move it, move it. Get some damage. Line up, single file. Catch that 20. Car. Got on track. Ninety-four, ninety-six were the tires. Everybody pit, so it just made sense to come in right there. Especially heading into the final run of this race, get some fuel in it, fuel to the end. So we're actually doing pretty good still. Got stage points there. You had the position when the yellow Your flag came out. Okay. All clear on engine temperatures. Just gonna have to pass this 14 again, but we'll go where I race wants us to go. I hope I actually am P8. Happy about that. I'm not. <laughs> I'm P7. Should have plenty of fuel to finish this thing, so... Uh, what did we get for the stage? It was P7? P8? I don't remember. Something like that. I know we finished behind the six. I don't know if we gained anything on pit road or anything, though. I don't think Gavin got any, unfortunately. Any stage points. I still feel partly responsible for not being able to slow down in time. Definitely look at that replay and see if it was a bad case of arc break or anything. Hey, Rick, if I ever meet you, I owe you a beer because I got loose in front of you too and you didn't dump me and that was cool. So appreciate that. <laughs> man, many time, man. I'll take that beer now. Appreciate it, right? Alright, let's see if we can get some green laps in. Fresh tires, long run. Let's do it. Car 
Scared me for a second, the black flags, because I thought that was uh, contact. Filing behind him. Thanks, Sam. No problem, Rick. That was at 19.1. Got to keep the tires on this thing. Long run ahead. Maybe I should have removed some tape, but it was actually stabilized, so I felt like it was okay. Keep an eye on it again, but I don't see a reason why it would get any hotter. I don't want to ruin the handling on this thing either. Removing a bunch of tape would be very helpful. Flag is out. Show. Single file. Road is closed right now. Dang. Pace car is out. Gavin's back up to 10th though. Good Pace to see his name out. up there. Guess we can do a run through the field. Ryan in first after dumping Ryan Gavin out. into my lap. And then we got Scott. Road. Alex Dillon, we'll Nick in fifth. Yeah. yeah. Eleven eight. Mine's like weird. Not showing me an I think I'm down with power to be honest. I was giving a rough yes. Probably should have been more specific. No, you know I'm good. I'm down by the park here. About fifty down if those twitching numbers seem to be the numbers I think they are. I think they're freaking out because it's not stable. But it doesn't seem to be hurting me. If anything, it's preventing me from lighting up the rears on exit. I guess. Though you wouldn't prefer to have be down on horsepower. I also prefer not to be on the inside. Shouldn't make too much of a difference, though. Now, did we take two tires that last off? Yes. Oh, we have a two tire play. Okay, Colton, your engine yeah, I was wondering how you did it. The left sides are actually wearing pretty heavily Thought compared to what smart, you might but... normally expect. 6% lost on the right sides, but a full 3% on the lefts. That could get really I loose. Even like 20 laps, bro. So I believe him when he says it's not fun. I figured out, uh, or sorry, I figured out, but we'll try it now instead of the other race and get it, you know, up. It's pretty smart. Big bold with strategy. Fortune favors the bold, I think is what they say. <laughs> Pit road is closed. We're under caution. It's closed. I'm very fortunate to still have this thing in the top ten damaged as it is. One left to green. Line up on okay, the inside. Colton, get ready. Race the regime at the end of this lap. What we can do. Still quite a ways to go. About 100 laps. Just under. Get ready. Going green. Though those do fly by. Check this short. Post car is on. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. Outside. 
low. Still there, hold your eyes. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Outside, clear. Car I can't just cut in front of them there. Stay so. low, there is a car on the high side. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Clear high. Car outside. Stay low. Still there. That lap time was 19.0. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. They're passing it on the inside. I mean, I'm not there yet, but I'm trying. P6. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Watch your oil temperature. Clear up top. high. All right. Keep it, though. Now doing okay. Alex very loose. He's on those two tires. Gonna have to watch out for that. Got the, his path if he's getting sideways. Yeah, lot times are improving. Gotta back this thing down more. I'm overdriving. Sixth place, though. Lucky to still be here. Might be able to pull this into the top five. Alex's uh, handling is still out of whack. Pretty fast though. In a way I almost feel like being down on power has helped me get off the corner smoothly. That's only because uh, I'm not as good. Being gentle on the throttle when I have full horsepower I guess. I am going to have to watch that oil temp though. That is going up. So let's maybe back it down a little bit. Just done at 19.3. Be off the gas a little longer. And I got loose. Having to adjust the way that I use my pedals and it's throwing me off. saw the uh, oil temp dip into the red and that's the danger zone as soon as it hits that red there's a chance you can blow your engine from what I understand is how it works so do not want that happening doing all right with the two tires I guess and uh, evening out it looks like for him so depending on where he came in it might have been a great call I don't know where he was beforehand
Be six though, if I could hold on to that, I'd be very happy. As long as this engine holds on. Some space behind. It's actually Gavin on the way. I can see him coming up and passing me though. Especially if he's already made his way forward. He's probably got some more uh, progress to make. It's on a mission, I imagine. The lap time was at 19.3. Cup times are pretty consistent. And hit my laps. It looks like the temperatures may be uh, getting a little more under control. It's had a loose moment there. Your lap time was 19.3. Got some movement up front here. I haven't really been looking that far ahead, although I probably should once in a while when I'm running into an accident or something. But... See some maybe attempted passes going on up there. Maybe I just saw someone uh, take a different line for a second. Not really sure what I saw. What I saw right there was a terrible three and four from me. Focus on my own line. Not other people's. Slow car download. Uh -oh. Car stop download. Go high. It's just off the surface. Uh, but Nick will call it right out of caution. So. Probably for the best. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car 73. What do we do? I think we react to what other people do is what we do. Get the 73 car. Leader, Let's go. Get some tires. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit box team, in. We think we'll need to stop again. Five, three, two, one. Right here. 94, 95. Didn't feel so bad. Get a little bit of optional repaired. Go. Line up, single file. Beat Alex out. I don't know if I necessarily car. wanted that though. Car. Car. So now I'm going to be on the inside. <laughs> Full course yellow. Pits are open. So P5, see what we can do. Got Dylan on. Temperatures are now back to normal. At the front, Ryan, Scott, Nick, and then myself. Alex is no longer on just two tires, though, I imagine. He's probably got the uh, full set. He definitely does. It wouldn't make any sense any other way. I don't know. The uh, bottom kind of worked. Maybe the track's changing a little bit. The bottom's going to be okay. Maybe some rubbers been put down. I don't know. I think it started at 100% usage. The track did, so maybe that's not a thing. Listen to me trying to act like I know what I'm talking about. One to go. Next time by, Race you'll be lining up on the inside. See what we can do, I guess.
being P5 with the uh, engine trouble. Feeling okay. I don't know what that was. That was scary. That was scary. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah, definitely a cold brown car. One car. His car is out. Line up single file behind car number zero one. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Pit road. I thought that was Nick getting into. Pits are open someone there but nick's up there so was that somebody else getting into somebody else i don't know i lost track of what was happening there i was looking out for where i needed to be jim sorry we just end up in the same spot <laughs> he's still down on power maybe uh the guys fixed it during the pit stop no it's still not looking right Dylan Kane's involved in that. He's calling it on a Maybe he ran into Nick and then spun. Is that what happened? Maybe it wasn't Nick he was getting into. Like I said, I was more looking at uh, how I could get through and not uh, what number was on the side of the trucks that were running into each other. Things uh, slowly coming to an end, though. Lap by lap, getting a little bit closer. Great to see Gavin back there, too, after uh, getting involved in the same wreck we were. So we both made it back to some pretty good spots. I might be good on tires to the end of this thing. I don't know if I want to give up the track position again. parked on the inside there. I think they exited a closed pit, got a penalty, and probably just pulled it over. That stinks. That's what happened there. I didn't see who it was. I was trying to look. P5. I'm really not good on these restarts. I don't know if it's my loss of force power or what. It's hurting me. Or if I, I mean, I was bad at the start, so that can't be it. <laughs> I'm just bad on the restarts. Plain and simple. Sorry, my wheel got something screwed up with it, buddy. I'm sorry. I think it's working now. What the hell was that? About to go green. Stay focused. Going on back there? Expecting that. It's not expecting it to get so tight right there either. Jesus.
floor. How about that? I never would have thought I would be back here after crashing so hard. Loose. He did not be trying to get too much out of it. Okay. I am. Watch your oil calm it down. Getting up there again. The lap time was at 18.9. Lap times are pretty consistent. That lap was at 18.9. Oh god, the oil temp's up there again. In the red, that's not good. Really don't want to back it down too much though. Who's going to be yelling at me about it, and they should, because it's not in a good spot. I know it is, man. It's not good, I know. I was going to keep saying that every time I peek over uh, 285. I'm just going to have to go with it. That's going to get annoying, I'm sorry. Can't tell him to shut up. Ooh, Alex Big Loose. Just gotta hope this thing holds on and doesn't detonate. Man, that'd be devastating after being P4 right now. I just got the wall. You gotta be careful. Oil temp is, in fact, getting high. In case you were not aware. Loose there, we're okay. At least starting to kind of get this place a little bit better. It's pretty fun. Kind of figure out where the line's supposed to be. Or, you know, at least something that feels comfortable to me. I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong. I just gotta keep an open mind and be able to say, hey doing it all wrong. <laughs> but right now it's working for me. Feeling pretty good. It's actually getting faster apparently. That was a 19.2. About a second behind us. That's great. Good news, but we're okay. I don't know if we've got any more uh, passes in us. If we can hold on to this thing for long enough, we got ourselves a nice finish. Oil temps have calmed down. Oh, 
much to our relief. So we will not be annoyed by that anymore. I will not have to live in fear. Man, you take your eyes off the road for one second. Truck tries to spin. Yeah. Glanced at my oil tip. When I looked back up, my truck was pointing in a slightly wrong direction. <laughs> that slight bit is just a bit too much for me to feel comfortable. Yeah, I think we found uh, uh, our peak here, maybe. We'll see how the uh, truck evolves as we go all uh, later in the ride. But if we can keep this pace and keep a P4, very thankful. See all that time we lost last lap from getting around a lap truck? About a tenth, not too bad. Find something different to slap. A little bit diamond line. Not so handy. Thanks, Dan. Not so much in three and four either. But wanted to give it a try. All right, Colton. Half distance should be about 34 minutes of fuel left. That lap time was 19.4. Okay, that stopped turning. I think trying the diamond line like killed my truck. Maybe don't try to do anything crazy anymore. The gap in front has increased to 0 0.9. Okay, wow, that got really loose. Didn't want to catch. Kind of scared me for a second. Someone sideways in the grass. Outside. Clear outside. No caution though, thankfully. That feels pretty good. Go ahead, Ryan. Private. That's easier said than done here at North Wiltsboro. Thank you, Rick. The gap ahead is now 0.9. This truck is great though, even damaged. <laughs> Can't uh, thank Daniel enough. Very. Lap traffic being a bit of a factor up ahead. Looks like Alex maybe had to pick up one a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Go ahead, Alex. The gap in front is now 1.1 seconds. I don't know why you passed it. Someone right in front of me. Thank you. Clear. Oh, good. <laughs> I don't think that's slowing seconds. me down at all. Keep low. Clear. I mean, a bit nervous seeing lap cars side by side ahead of me for a moment, but it sorted itself out. I don't know if we're catching Alex. I don't think so. Never know what can happen. Go ahead, Gavin. Keep the uh, gap as small as possible, just in case. No cautions, please, though. The 
That's Jim getting uh, loose again, maybe? Unless uh, somebody else put him down there. Seen a little bit of both here today. Guys getting loose, guys getting uh, tapped from behind. It's being held up a little bit right now. I'm spinning. Whoa! That was far too sideways. Can't be good. That was too much sideways. I like that the truck's loose though. Much better than tight. Coming to 20 to go. Does Nick have anything for the leader? I don't know how far ahead Ryan is. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. You've just done a 19.6. Alex got that in the lap car. Uh, lap truck in a really bad spot. I don't think we're catching him though. I think he's faster than we are at this point. Ooh, if he's gonna get loose though, I'm sorry about that. Gives us a chance. Not that was a car out of six. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. See on the outside. Clear. Oh boy. Get the best angle into the corner. That sucks. That's gonna lose us a ton of time. I thought he was gonna back out. It's fine though. Abbott is only 1.1 back. I just noticed. He's catching. The gap behind is now 1.2 seconds. Have to work to keep this thing in uh, fourth place, I think. Fifteen to go. That lap was at nineteen point six. Hitting in, that's interesting. Go ahead, Ryan. Yeah, it's catching fast. That's not good for me. Really folks, I'm trying to outrun them here. Oh, get loose. That's exactly what I didn't need. That was killer. It's coming way fast. Very loose race car right now. 
just done a car outside. Point. Clear outside. Go, He's really trying to kill me on exits now. Let you go here, Chad. I'm trying to let you go there, but I'll uh, I'll just go low. Inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Still inside. Still there at the bottom. That was at 20.0. Still there, inside. We're on the high line here at North Wilkesboro. It's not going to work, though. Clear inside. Your lap time was 20.0. Thank you, Rick. Oh my gosh. Yeah, buddy. I did not expect it to get so loose. Tight, I expected. Not so much so loose. Still top five, though, as long as we can keep this .7 behind us. I'll stay high, Gavin. Calling that out, but we figured it out. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside, clear. Ugh, not turning. That last lap was at 20.1. That was at 19.8. Come on, hold on to this thing just a little longer now. Two left to go. Two to go. Last lap, you've just done it, 19.8. Wow, I can't believe I won one. Good race, everybody. Sorry again, Gavin. I apologize, I was in that wreck too. <laughs> Alright, happens. Good race. P5. <sighs> Thank you, yeah, I tried to check up as much as I could and I just couldn't do anything else. I don't know what happened, to be fair. I think someone got loose in front anyway. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Good race, guys. Good race, guys. Whew. Pull over. Just ball. Top five. I'm here, Ryan. I'm trying to get out of the way. With the truck down on power, I will definitely take that. I can't believe it got loose. 80-86, but it was loose at the end. I guess because of the left rear, maybe? I mean, I guess it was tight on entry, too. So, all contributing. 80, huh. All right. So we get P5. Ryan gets the win. First person without a capital C in their name to get the win. Nick second, Gavin passes late for fourth, so I got super loose. Alex gets a P3. 
All right, we'll take a look. I don't know how much we're going to be able to watch the incidents. It's probably just going to be it. Uh, probably going to be a bunch of wall hits. It's me having a terrible start. First caution looks like it was Joe just looping it. Barely causes a caution, I think. Just kind of getting caught on the tire. Almost off the racetrack, but caution gets called. Oh, that, wow, and Alex loops it for one of the cautions. Still came back and got third. That's pretty crazy. Bumper cars going on. Bumper trucks, I guess. Do want to go find that uh, caution I was involved in. Soon enough. And Joe gets hit a little bit. They're all good, though. So just wall hits, We're trying to move along, Let's see if we got any uh, anything more major. I think Nick's brother is struggling, I think he just called it because he was just running into the walls a bunch. can't remember exactly when our damage came, but it was pretty early on. But here's Ian's good save. He bounces off the apron. Lots of bouncing going on. Oh, and eventually someone gets sent around. That'll bring out a caution, I imagine. Ooh, number two for Joe. Not just the truck number, but second spin, too. And that stinks, because he had gotten back in the top ten, too. Just couldn't quite hold on to it. Loose down there, sliding up into him. And they kind of hook each other right there. That'll bring out a caution. Oh, wow. And then someone just didn't see it coming, I guess. Got to the back of them. I'm not seeing anything there. Earth? Not sure what that was. Oh, yeah. James said he got a text from his wife or something. <laughs> Did that. That's why you don't text and drive. <laughs> Very close racing right there. Um, here's where Ryan dumps Gavin. Nowhere to go. I don't know. I had just taken my normal line, I might have missed him, but I thought he was going to stay lower. Hmm. I feel dumb. I feel like I could have avoided that. Uh...
Yeah, I feel like I, uh, I mean, I just saw them getting together down low. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I feel like if I had just taken the regular line, I could have gotten on around him but i saw them getting together down there and you know your reaction is get away from it and i thought with the like low banking here i thought maybe they would keep it down low and i could go around the outside but he just slid up right into where i was going and, you know i'm on the break of course i see it right there and i just i can't slam on it too much more than that or it sends my back end around and then i'm just in the wreck anyway so I see it there and I'm like trying to decide where to go. I'm already like kind of committed up this way. So even if I do decide to start hooking left real hard right there, it doesn't, uh, doesn't help me too much. <sighs> so, and then someone apologized. There's nothing they can do though. <laughs> oh, someone got into me. We're just bouncing off each other at this point. I think it might have been Steven, Stefan. Yeah. You can see I'm on the brakes. It's just I bounced off them. On the brakes, on the brakes, I'm into them and then trying to lock it down, but Yeah, nothing doing. So we're continuing on. Despite being uh, down in power, still survived for a top five, which is pretty awesome. So we'll go quick. Try to find the good stuff, as in the bad stuff, I guess. Stuff that you wish didn't happen. Oh yeah, I think I got tapped by this, yeah. I'm lucky that didn't turn me. It's because I think my wheel was already turned to the left getting through the corner. I was able to kind of shake that off. And he hit me mid-door instead of quarter panel. So it helped me stay forward. Kind of just shook it off. But it's more damage I didn't need, that's for sure. But at least it's not as bad as some of the guys back here. That's pretty significant. Gavin had to stop on a dime for that one, too. The king on the wall, and then... Oh, yeah, this is the blink-out situation. He was about to get him anyway, though, for the blinking. I think, damn, maybe just got in a little hard. Oh, he got the wall, though, so he's not expecting to catch up to him right there. He's not prepared to be three wide, that's for sure, and then just disappears. Thankfully, I didn't get caught in it without knowing where he was exactly. Close racing, moving along. Wall taps and such going on. Ooh. Move traffic right here. A little sketchy. This looks like it's right after a restart. Ooh, well maybe not. I think that was lap traffic, maybe? No, that's not. That's James. He's on the same lap, but he just spins. 
fortunate. And keeping it moving real quick. Very tough. Whoa. Loose up there. Nate gets on the wall maybe watching that. Ooh, and then a loop on entry. See, this is what happens uh, when you... Either like stomp on the brake too hard or just enter too hard. It's so easy to do. Surprised we didn't see more of it to be honest. And then it didn't cause a caution initially. Nick threw it out on his own. Probably avoiding a dangerous situation makes sense. Ooh, okay, this is that situation that ha that happened. So, let's see here. I think uh, he got real tight up there in the lead there, Dylan did, and then he loses so much momentum, they end up three wide, and then uh, he kind of turns down quite a bit. Just probably hit a bunch of wheel in it, and then they start bouncing off, it kind of gets that crazy net code thing going on. I hit the brakes pretty good because I didn't know where they were going to slide. Thank you to Gavin. He's always looking and watching out. So I really appreciate him for not running to the back of me. He almost got run into the back of. But we all make it through. Good uh, careful driving by everyone involved to avoid that and avoid running into each other. Oh, I didn't even see what happened to Ian here. He blew his engine. This is him trying to fix it. I don't know how he got damaged. Maybe we probably saw it, actually, to be honest, but... I don't remember what it was, but he was running well, too. Didn't he get the pole? I think he got the pole. He did, and that's very unfortunate. Blowing his motor. I'm glad I didn't blow my motor. We're running hot for a while. If I didn't remove that tape, we would have. Oh, and that's what Rick said, is something happened to a steering wheel. I remember hearing that. Moving along. Trying to chase down Alex, can't quite do it. I don't think we're going to see too much more, though. There, uh, We had a decent long run to the end there. About as good as you can hope to get. Short track on iRacing. Still overall pretty great race. With quite a few cautions, but not uh, unreasonable. And enough green laps that I had some fun. Eventual winner. I don't think we're gonna see much but wall hits to the end of this thing oh never mind apparently i forgot this happened yeah we did have one more caution didn't we it's a thing i was uh surprised we didn't see more of just getting loose on entry he tried to save it probably a bad call to turn it right back up the track right there though Overcorrects it oh he saw scott that's why he pulled it to the right i see why he did that yeah, that's unfortunate. He's really trying to avoid people, and then he gasses it up to get it off the track. He did his best to avoid uh, involving anyone else. Did that even bring out a caution? It did not, I guess. Wow. I'm surprised. So I guess we didn't have another caution. Gavin's yeah, try real hard to catch me, and that he did. I was so loose at the end there. He's having a lot of trouble. In fact, I know we don't really have any actual re uh, wrecks toward the end of this one. He was just being able to drive in much harder than I was. And uh, able to get much more traction on exit, too.
Yeah, he's really gaining on entry. It's where my bad right front was coming into play, I think. He's really able to stick it down low as well. He just had a much better trek at the end. Let's see how much I'm struggling to keep it straight. And I gave it my my best on the outside. It was close enough to the end that I didn't want to just give it up. So I kind of tried my best just to stay on his outside, run it hard. It works for about a lap. <laughs> One and two, you can get away with it much more than three and four, because once I get into three and four, he just clears me. He did that earlier in the race as well, so. Oh well, that's fine. Um, it was going to be quite the task to hold him off. I at least held up, uh, held my top five, because Dias was coming pretty quick, too. I think another couple laps, he probably gets it done. I was really struggling just to keep that distance I did have. And that's how we pulled into a P5. So actually a really good day for us. We got stage points at every junction. Got ourselves a top five. And that's plenty good enough for me. Had a tough track. And a track I didn't expect to do too well at. Um, this things we got into a couple uh, of little incidents. But lots of people did. So that's uh, not too out of uh, the ordinary. But that'll do it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I uh, hope to continue recording these races again, heading forward. And I hope to see you there. Thanks so much, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.